fucking nigga I trapped you. Cause now you ain't got no choice but to be stuck with me cause fucking nigga I'm pregnant again. Cause I'm pregnant again, and bitch. I know, bitch. I, I know you. I, I know you did shot that bitch. I, I be new. I'm the motherfucking finesse. I'm the fucking finesse. Bitch, not only did I finesse you, but pussy nigga, I made you blow me up.
Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. You know, I actually heard um, that these motherfuckers are actually killing people right now. So, we're going to do this live on the Big Facts Podcast. I don't know if I can throw it away. I don't know if I can throw it. Away. I don't know if I can throw it away, man. I think I think them motherfuckers might have been goddamn putting THC in their shit. I don't know. My shit been good, dog. What in the fuck is that, man? You remember we was talking about um what well, you don't know. Um if you haven't been to the Patreon, but on the uh, how to identify a nail by her house, we talked about uh, insects and shit like that. And somebody made a comment talking about um, if she live by woods and roaches and shit like that. I really live by it. Like, I live in the woods for real. But welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is... Are you serious? If you've not been to the Patreon yet, as I just said, you might want to catch up because we're about to go on to um, the third installment of the How to Identify Nothing As Bit series. And I think that we pretty much got a consensus of... um, Shout out to Leroy. Leroy just became a patron. Um, I just got that um, notification. So shout out to Leroy. Um, but get over there because, um, you need to vote on whether we need to do how to identify nothing as bitch by her social media or how to identify nothing as bitch by her children. We've already done how to identify her in public, how to identify her by her house. Now we're doing the next step. Um, but today, speaking of nothing as bitches, as you saw the video in the beginning, um, we need to speak on it. So let, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, without further ado, let, let, let me go ahead and get into this shit. That's enough for me. Yep, that's enough for me. That's enough for me. Dog, you got, like I said, my nigga, like, I got, uh, Shout out to, you know, um, the members of the Men 2 movement that are actual members that are hollering at me about advice, hollering at me about certain situations they may have going on behind the scenes. And um, I always try to be there with, you know, not only an open ear, but um, the best logical and rational advice that I can possibly give um, at this point in time where we are in 2019 going on to 2020 i cannot advise any entrepreneur meaning someone who's trying to work for themselves if you are trying to get out from under damn i gotta go to work if you're trying to get out from under that i cannot give you any better advice than the three s's the three s's are the three S's to success. Sobriety, solitude, and sexlessness, or celibacy, um, is what you're gonna have to enact. You're gonna have to execute the three S's with extreme um, discretion. I don't know, what's the word? Uh, extreme prejudice with extreme prejudice um if you're not ready to take those distractions out uh you gonna lose this bitch just said not only did i finesse you i trapped you what that lets us know from the jump is while you thought it was all good 
while you were thinking I was just riding in the car, just looking around and shit like that, I put an Illuminati type plan on your ass. Um, these people, these mega brands, big pharma and, and big tobacco and shit like that, these fucking people have a hundred year fucking plans. They think a hundred years in the future, well past their lifespan. Um, it's very hard for someone um, in poverty, an impoverished person to think past today, tomorrow, three days, a week. And the only time an impoverished person would think a week in the future is if like, it's time to go to the club, a guy they coming to town, one of their favorite artists is coming to town. We're not thinking like that. We're not on that level to even believe that shit's gonna go well enough for us for long enough for like we're we're playing out ice shit you know? in two weeks I'm gonna be getting a goddamn five hundred dollar check, I'll be straight then. You know, that type of shit. But uh there that bitch go again. This is a green fucking bug, man. It's that fucking camera dog. I'm gonna have to take that camera out that fucking window. But what she did was she implemented a short plan. Stay up under this nigga for long enough to lock him the fuck in. Um, the best ways to do it is to, you know, stupid head, but make sure that he on bus, you know what I'm saying? Stupid head, then get on top, and a nigga's not going to make you get the fuck up. Now I got to kill you, bitch. I try to let you live two times. That's your ass. Um, get on top. He's not going to make you get up. If you ride the shit out, he going to... Ah, he a stupid bitch. He'll, like, I would. i say that shit afterwards. But a nigga not going to make you get the fuck up. Um, Because like I said, man, a nigga, wants, nigga don't want to come in the cold. Nigga want to bust in a warm place. Yo, fuck, where is that? Just need a warm home. Wanna be out here in the fucking cold? So, it's not that hard to do as long as you don't raise his fucking awareness or, you know, uh, set off his spidey senses. So, you have to go into the shit with a spidey sense to know that I am worth something. I'm valuable and that's a whole nother fucking conversation. Why is it so hard for us to see ourselves as valuable? And, and the reason for that is... If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a dreamer... Um... If you have a goal, that's and, and as I'm thinking about it, I think that's the reason why a nothing ass bitch and a nothing ass nigga doesn't set any goals, doesn't have any goals because setting a goal, in order to set a goal, you have to admit that you aren't there. In order to get to a goal, if I'm trying to get to 10, I need to know where I'm at now in order to know when I reach 10. So that means I have to do some introspective, you know, um, I have to look introspectively and say, I'm at one, I'm at negative two, I'm at negative 20. I'm trying to get to 10. I need to find a plan on how to get there. I, I, I'm on negative 20. I got a felony. I don't have a job. I don't have nowhere to stay. I got two kids, two different baby mamas, and this new stupid ass bitch is talking about she fucking pregnant. Um, can't go back home no more because they don't want 
They don't want me around no more. They think I'm, you know, the black sheep. Whatever the fuck your situation is, you have to be honest about it and say you have to take inventory on what you have. And a nothing ass nigga and a nothing ass bitch, that's the last thing they want to do is admit that they are not what they walking around claiming that they are. They have to live in this um, false reality. They have to live in their delusion. It, it will be kind of like putting a mirror in front of a, a, a ugly bitch that thinks she pretty. Or putting a mirror in front of a, a, a fat hoe on, you know, that be trying to go hard on Instagram because she got her shit photoshopped. That's the last thing they want to see. Or taking a fucking wig off a whole, you know what I'm saying? And, like, it's the last thing they want to fucking see. So, if you have a goal, just having a goal alone sets you apart from, I don't know if I want to say that. I don't know if I want to say that because... I'm talking about a series, I'm trying a goal, like, well, I want a million dollars, ah, oh, come on with that bullshit. If you don't know how you're going to get the million dollars, you don't have a fucking goal. My, I, I, my goal is to hit the damn lottery, shit, that, that's as good as, you know, if you have a goal, a serious goal, and you're already ahead, now all you have to do is start activating and actively chasing that goal, um, but just that, and if you're actively chasing a goal, you are of value because you're around a whole bunch of hopeless motherfuckers. The nigga that's around this bitch riding in the rentals, you know, nigga fresh, always smelling like, you know, loud and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Just clean and, you know, nigga, he getting it off, nigga probably playing with ounces or some shit like that. You know, you're in a better position than he is dead broke as long as you have a goal and you're actively going towards it because he still has to come out from the underworld come be on ground zero and then rise so if negative five is down here ten is up here that means zero will be right here so you're at zero but the nigga who's still selling dope is still down here and negative he still gotta go to prison Still gotta understand that this money ain't real. This shit, you can't depend on it. You can't build no plan on this fucking money. You know what I'm saying? So you just, you really gotta be focused on um, on what's real and what reality is. And you need to also, this, I, I, I gotta talk to you about this, man, because. Hey, yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just gotta keep it real. Look, dog. Let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon. Them numbers for the Patreon. That's for AO Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night. We go live on the Big Face Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers in the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send two dollars to the Cash App or the PayPal. Um, and I'll send the song to whatever email is attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect for y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30. And I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now we just have the men two t-shirts for 20, uh, Big Face Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt, uh, 15. Everything is 15 with the men two t-shirt. Then you got the Big Face Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, 
I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the me and two, me and two, me and two members, AO Nation members that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me. Um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love. Uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You want to go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business. Holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I'll see y'all in a minute. Get the shit together, be home. This is something that you're probably dealing with. This is probably why it's so hard for you to stop smoking weed. You know where you're trying to go. You get glimpses or, or um, spats of, of, um, of clarity where you can see where you are, where you're trying to go, and how you can get there. But in between it is, is obstacles. And the place where we get stuck is... I, I know how I can get me $400, but then I don't know how I'm going to get 20000 and get my credit up to fucking 700 so I can get this fucking, you know, this property right here so I can open up my fucking barber shop, my fucking uh, uh, wax detail, or my fucking art shop, clothing store, whatever the fuck it is. So, or get my fucking clothing company off the of ground and shit like that. So... You already defeat yourself, so you you're thinking about your plan, but this is the reason. But as you're thinking about that shit, you still working at this bullshit ass job, or you don't have a job, which is a fucking issue. Um, you out here selling dope, whatever the fuck like that, um, and you got this bitch or nothing ass niggas around you that are subliminally or directly telling you that you ain't nobody and you don't have shit going on like look at where you at you don't got no call you obviously don't got no money nigga nobody fuck with you for real you know what i'm saying like nigga how the fuck nigga you know i tried to do something nigga. that shit ain't work nigga. you need to be for real nigga get in real life nigga you need to try to go down here get your twit card which would probably be a good idea get your fucking twit card you know what I'm saying? Get you a better job. But as far as giving up on your goals, that's bullshit. But that, with with your energy going up and being positive, and then this negative energy coming in and, and fucking, you know, it, and now it's confusion here. And the only way you know how to get out of confusion is to smoke. Anytime any pressure comes, you got to smoke. You got to pop a pill. You got to hit the bag. You got to drink a beer. And that continues to keep you where the fuck you at. Because while you're high, you're pretty much useless. All the fuck you can do is think. But you've already thought your way through this shit. Now it's time for action. It's time for action now. You've already thought the plan through. It's, it's done. I got to do this for two months then go here. I need to stop buying this. I need to buy a TV. I need to buy a couch and pay on it on time. I need to, but in order to do that, I got to get me a call. So I got to work here for six months, save my money, don't spend no. You know what the fuck the plan is. You know what the plan is. But this is that part right before the beginning. When you 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 just in purgatory, you in limbo before you started, and even worse if you get to that first fucking step and you can't go anywhere else. 
you just stuck on this first step because you know you got to save this money up, but you can't save the money up because this bitch or whoever the fuck is influencing you and giving you these negative fucking vibes. Obviously, it's somebody that you can't get away from, so this probably is a bitch that you staying with. You know what I'm saying? It's a probably the, the bitch that you staying with and you got to drive her car to work to even make the money to get your own car so that you can go buy the couch or the, the, the big purchase and make payments on it so you can get your credit up. So this this one little block right here, this one little step, you stuck on it because you cannot get, there's no way you're going to be able to deal with the tension and, and this current situation that you have with this motherfucker like just continuously just negativity 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 you try to fight past it and it just don't work and that's what her job is her job is to keep you and as we saw right here not only did she finesse you she trapped you i want you to take that right there and we're not going to talk about no child i want you to take that and put that on to where you're at in life right now and think about how long you've been there Do most of your plans only last as long as you with that certain bitch? You know what I'm saying? Can you can you relate or can you um, connect a person with your your situations? Like I can I can uh, connect bitches to wardrobes. I had this set. I remember this set. The all black shit. I was doing crazy. Yeah, I had that. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I drop down, I start getting fresh and shit like that. I remember yeah, I, I was going crazy. Right? You know, but you end up not progressing at all. I There's nothing. The only thing that I gained from those situations was knowledge and experience. That's it. As far as getting closer to where I was trying to go, not a fucking step. What I was supposed to do was at 23, come back home, I right, that, that shame that, and go ahead and get started. But instead, ah, oh, nah, I did this wrong, I did that wrong. You thinking you doing something wrong? No, you have, you're in the wrong fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way you can win here. I, I tell my brother, I say, uh, the universe has a blessing for you a mile down the path that they have you that you're supposed to be on but you didn't fucking divert it going down a whole nother fucking road you're never going to get a blessing going this way the blessing was a mile down this road there's no way you're going to get to fucking you know what I'm saying your destination going that way it was this way but this way is not the fun way. It's not the cool way. It ain't live enough. So we go and, and play and, and go backwards and, and all these other ways. And, and we can never truly touch what we need to be touching and what's meant for us to touch. The heights that we meant to reach because of the fact that we on the wrong fucking path. We diverted from the path that was set for us. And... During those times of, of sobriety that you have, whether it be because you can't find no weed or this nigga ain't had no pills or whatever the fuck it is, you ain't got no money to get no bill. During those moments of sobriety, you're faced with that. You're faced with the fact you have a feeling I'm in the wrong fucking place. And the only way that you can feel right again about being in the wrong place is by getting high. Putting your mind and your spirit to sleep. Because what I feel like what you're doing is you're lowering your spiritual shield to where now demons and anything can get inside of you and overpower your thoughts. Um, but that that's, that's extremely important. If you believe that that fucking bitch that you're staying with you're in the wrong you're in the wrong you don't like her you don't love her you don't want to be with her but you're still using her car you're still staying in her house 
and you're doing that because you don't want to be without weed. It's not it's not even about your plan no more. Like you've been trying to make this plan work for how like it's not going to work. You can't stop like you can't stop popping pills, you can't stop smoking, you can't stop hitting the bag. Your situation is too stressful. You're going to have to get away from that situation. Geographically, you're going to have to leave that whole situation. Now, um, once you leave, that girl is going to try everything in her power to get you to come back. She might even offer you what you've been trying to get the whole time. Um... And I, 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 all I can tell you is, is don't do it. Um, because that's a trap also. As you hear this bitch talking about. She's talking about a baby. But this this is so much deeper. It's so much deeper. This is the mindset of a nothing ass bitch. I'm happy about. I'm happy about making you unhappy. This doesn't help me in the least. This actually fucks me up. But as long as you're being fucked up, I'm cool with it. You need to find out who in the fuck you are living with. You need to find out your true worth. As long as... As long as you are restricted and bound... By your immediate surroundings, you will never know your true value. They are, it's like, what, who the fuck is it? Um, insurance companies, um, who else trying to lowball you? Pawn shops. Just anybody who's trying to, you, uh, this shit ain't worth that, man. I can get this shit anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just try to make you feel like you're not special. There's nothing different about you. You're not going to just put you. That's what your surroundings. And when you're coming from an impoverished area. When most of the people ain't. And that's most of us. You'll, you'll start noticing. Once you start getting around people that actually have. They become nicer. They don't mind telling you, man. That shit will live as fuck. Or if it was trash and, you know, they don't have no reason to lie to you. But as long as, like, they can't, they can't allow you to leave them. Your success is confirmation of their constant and inevitable, endless failure. Their fate is to fail. The only question is, are they going to have companionship in their misery. And that's truly on you. How long you allow these people. To hypnotize you into believing. That. You're just like them. Let's listen to some more. Because mm. now you ain't got no choice but to be stuck with this fuck nigga on pregnant again. Because I'm pregnant again, bitch. I know, bitch. I, I know you. I, I know you this child then, bitch. I, I be new. I'm the mother. Let's go here, man. Um, I know you this child daddy. So... We've went through this one time. Obviously, with this whole here. We've went through this one time. And you missed... You tried to make me the father of a child and you couldn't just fuck one nigga. You had, like, it's just in you. You have to fuck multiple niggas. You know, when you look at this motherfucker, you can tell that she's a child, man. She's a child. A baby on her hip. Stomach poked out. And I know that you this child daddy. She didn't want to say. I, I uh, Last time I ain't know. But this time I'm for sure for sure. Why in the fuck is she for sure this time? She's for sure 
because you allowed her to reset her fucking game after this bitch tried to kill you once you allowed this bitch to rock you to sleep for a second chance And now y'all playing a motherfucking internet game. Listening to this bitch talk, I'm telling you, man, it's just like, there's no way, this is what I'm saying, there's no way that you didn't know, there's no way that you didn't know that this was a nothing ass bitch. The issue is, you value these temporary confidence boosters the like it is like little shots of adrenaline or, or, or little shots of dope whatever yeah this shit feel like make me feel like a man this whole goddamn i'm, I'm giving me some head and shit like that yeah this bitch is on me i'm fucking this whole goddamn it, 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 i'm a man now it's like so if you're not fucking a holding you not a man you're not that man you're not the man unless a whole like that's something in you and it needs to be checked because it says something about you. First of all, what it says is that you've never really had no hold. You're not used to holes being at you like that. That's not normal to you. Secondly, it says that you don't have any self-control and I don't see how you're going to get out from up under that boss that you hate listening to, that assistant manager that's younger than you, this fucking job that's pretty much destroying your physical body. This job is taking so much out of you that after you get off, you don't even have energy to do what you want to do. You hate your fucking job to the core. But you don't hate it enough to do something about it. Fuck. You just smoke the pain away, drink the pain away, pop the pain away, as if that's gonna make the problem go away. That's just making the problem heavier. That's putting the, making the weight more. I'm telling you, dog, when I came up about my shit, um, and shout out to um uh, I, I I wish shout out to you, Miss Lady, um, who shot it, uh who um told me I need to do a video on um what happened on those three days when I was hallucinating on acid um, to, to explain, you know, how how easy it is to get drugged and, and what, you know, how this shit can happen and, and, you know, all this shit like this. When I, I really want to speak about How this this whole thing when when you're not willing to move for what you want, how how he, like you just don't understand how heavy that weight gets. It gets it gets so heavy to a point that even when you do come out the streets like when I did. Tame dog. Now I got the heebie jeebies. Um when you do come out, by the time you do, now you got warrants you gotta go handle. Now you gotta do the whole ID shit, gotta do your driving test over, you got all these fucking fines you gotta do, um, you gotta go up here to these fucking classes, gotta find a ride over here to this uh bullshit ass thing, gotta ask somebody to, to see if they got $25 for this fucking insurance fee or whatever the fuck. It's so much shit day for day, you know, because now you got to actually call these people. God, let me call Peter Bayman and see if these motherfuckers going to goddamn see if they got my paperwork, or see if they accept my affidavit of hardship to goddamn see if they'll reinstate my license or can I, am I eligible for my license? Can I drive cars again? 
You make this shit so fucking hard on yourself, but you just can't see this shit. You can't see it. You don't understand it because you really don't believe you're going to make it to this point. You're expecting to die in the street. And you okay with that. And that's, that should be the first sign to you that you're not in your right mind, that a demon has possessed your mind. Because once you get sober, you're not cool with dying no more. You're not good with dying no more. It's going to be like when you're going through withdrawals, it's, it's, at some point you may feel like dying. But overall, all that fucking testosterone and all that courage, it leaves with the dope. It wears off with the fucking dope. So, high speed chase at the high speed chase to the point where they actually revoke your license will make this shit so much fucking harder when it comes time for you to come out the street. Because now you can't help but get tickets. Now you gotta go try to see if you can get that shit overturned. But in order to make that shit happen, you gotta find a ride. In order to find a ride, you gotta get some money. In order to get some money, you gotta find a fucking job. In order to get a job, you gotta... Layers and layers and layers and layers that you never even thought about because you were operating in the underworld where you don't need shit. Everyone's accepted. But in order to succeed for real, for real, you got to have your shit together. And you got to want it because you're going to have to go through. I'm telling you, I went through two fucking years of pulling back layers, fixing issues from somebody that I don't even know. It was like a whole different fucking person. Like, what the fuck? Gotta pay this. Ah, you know, we got this. And then once you start paying this shit, once you get your shit together, you start paying shit off. Now more motherfuckers come because they can see that you're paying. Oh, shit, you paying? Well, shit, go on, take care of that. So as soon as you get done paying some off, you gotta pay for something else. But the blessing is you'll have the money to do that. Um, but the main thing is to give your enemy a second shot at destroying you is something that not even an idiot would do. But the thing is, you didn't see her as an, like an, an enemy. You thought this was an ally. Why? Why was it so easy for her to camouflage herself and make it look like she was actually for you? To listen at this whole talk, this what I'm telling you. If a motherfucking, if a female talks like this, if a nigga talk like this, they not for you. Most of the female though. If a female can speak like this, she's not for you. That's male or female. You shouldn't be a female friend if she talk like this. And you damn sure shouldn't be fucking a female that speak like this. But that dope. That dope. Man. It will. It will. I'm telling you. It comes with. Spirits. Entities of its own. I'm damn near, you know, ready to make a video about the different spirits that come. You know, alcohol was called spirits. You know what I'm saying? Um, pills, the Xanax, the Percocet, Oxycontin, lower tabs, Promethazine and Codeine, Sativa. You know, it seems like all these different, it's like, it's damn near like dope. Taking dope is a ritual. And when, once you take it, it's like you did the ritual. So now it's like you're making yourself a conductor for demons. You think about any of your favorite artists or just think about yourself in general, anything that you did. That was retarded as fuck. You did it. The thought came whilst under the influence. 
Where the fuck did that thought come from? You think because it don't go so far left it's doing some gay shit, are you? But I know that Molly, dog, that Molly, I know, like, at, you know, and back then at 24, I thought Molly was a miracle drug. Now at 31, I understand that is a devil, devil's drug. That was a true demon. That Molly. I know I was ready, like ready to die because dying seems, it seems so artistic at the time and shit like that. But more than that, it had me ready to kill. And I knew I can kill anybody. And that, I, I might need to speak on that. Like this, the, the powers you get, the, the psychological powers, you feel like you get from this dope and you feel like you can't do it without that dope that dope make you feel so motherfucking it could be your weed it can be your alcohol whatever the fuck it is it make you feel so motherfucking that would look at me like I really felt like I can tell if a bitch had an STD or not it's gonna be all good. It's straight. Fuck that shit. You're gonna let this hoe. Go ahead. It's all good. Fuck that shit. Like, fuck the consequences. Like, fuck that shit. I couldn't, like, drive. Like, I was, dog, I was a fucking ridiculous fucking driver. Ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous, man. Like, the shit I was doing on the interstate, like, the shit I do through traffic, it, for no fucking reason. For no fucking reason. Just for the music playing and unrolling. Fuck that shit. Man, I'm just finna... With a girl in the car. Another person in the car. It didn't matter. Like, I'm just... Ah, y'all be scared. I know what I'm doing. Fuck the police. What the fuck are you gonna get a, a, a fucking reckless driving ticket for? Because you felt like it? But that's the type of shit that goes into this. I'm telling you. At the beginning of all of these type of issues there is dope there's dope there how like how else could you like because you want to fuck now like you know what I'm saying I'm on the mile I'm on the tab I'm drunk whatever the fuck it is now I want to fuck and I fuck whoever why in the fuck would I put a condom on it's not gonna feel as good I'm finna bust in his whole mouth I'm finna bust anywhere man I'm just nigga I'm shit nigga Fuck that shit. It feel good. And this is how this type of shit take place. Fuck you, Vanessa. I'm the fuck you, Vanessa. Bitch, not only did I finesse you, but pussy nigga, I made you blow me up. I made you blow me up. See that shit right there? See? Oh, yeah. That, that, that. That was also, that was always a big pet peeve of mine. The fucking tone and the volume control. Bitch, you need to have some fucking volume control. Why the fuck are you talking so fucking loud? But I'm telling you, my nigga, that you, you'll allow yourself to be put in a situation to where you have to be victim to these type of circumstances. Bitch just talking crazy for no reason because she know you can't go nowhere. She just getting off. She just getting off. I made you blow me up. Like that, that oh man. Ain't that whole first time speaking like that, my nigga. I made you blow me up. So I'm telling you, I, I can't, I, I, don't, I don't know what to give you. I can't give you nothing else but the three S's. I'm going to tell you how to identify nothing ass bitch, but at the end of the fucking day, if you're trying to actually not have a boss anymore, you're going to have to follow the three S's religiously. Um, I made you blow me up. I got pregnant just so that 
I can have a hold on you. I'm that. I'm that fucking obsessed. And I, I, that's how that's how little fucks I give about myself and my child. That it's all about you. It's all about you. Fucking you up is all that matters. You don't understand that line of thinking. You don't understand how someone could say fuck not only their child but themselves or not only themselves I mean it's, it's one and the same but that's what they're on you think like how many fucks you think she give for that fucking child how what is that child gonna grow up to be you would hope that he grows up to be a football, basketball rapper. But that's why that's all that we have. Sports, music. Slither going to academia. You know how much fucking confusion that's going to bring to this fucking child? And the thing about nothing ass bitches is that they don't give a fuck. They don't mind using their children as shields. They physical and mental. They don't mind confusing that so the nothing ass bitch would tell her daughter to call her father. Tell the child to call the father and ask him for shit. Because she know she didn't fucked up her. She know that the she know that she wasn't fucking with the the, the nigga when he was down bad. But now that he up, asking for this, asking for that. She know she didn't fucked her shit up. Trying to teach the the little girl how to manipulate the father's heart, using the child as a fucking weapon, not giving a fuck how it affects the child as far as. I, I know how to manipulate a man. This is what I know. This is all I know. This is what my mama taught me. Fuck all that uh, blues clues. Uh, fuck that. What she showed me was this is what matters. I saw how she acted when she was telling me about that school shit. And I saw how she acted when she was telling me how to get money out of a fucking man. To the point where she'll, the mama will get the fucking little child... To walk up to random men and ask them for something out the store. She's going to the store expecting for some nigga with some money to buy something for the child. Got the child out there asking. That's and that's the that's all that you're doing when you're using the child. You want something in your house, so you tell the child to ask the father for it. These are nothing ass bitches. These are nothing ass bitches and telling you, I truly wish that there was someone that could have spoken in this manner to me. Let's see what else. Oh, I had you blow me up so it can be stuck. So guess what? Guess what now? Guess what? So guess what now? When you swab your mouth for my baby, fuck nigga, I'm putting you on child support. I'm putting you on child support. I'm a show. There it is. There it is. Touchdown. She won. It's over. Child support for a nothing ass bitch is the end all be all. I have you. I don't give a fuck about you being a father to the child. I, you know, the nothing ass bitch will play. Like, I want you to. I want you to be a father to your child. I want. I want my baby to know her father and all that bullshit. 
But really it's just her trying to fuck you up again. Trying to get you to, as she said, blow her up again. And I'm telling you that if you do have a child by a nothing ass bitch, the best thing for you, if you've tried to be a father, if you tried that and she continues to be a nothing ass bitch, leave it where it's at. Pay your child support, leave it where it's at. You have no reason to call me. There's your child support. I don't want no visitation. I don't want, I don't, there's your child support. Leave me alone. I'm living my life. Get on with your life. That's a mistake. I, the further you are away from that situation, that mistake, the better. Because the closer you are, the more she's going to uh, spy. You think, this nothing ass bitch ain't gonna be online trying to track niggas down, trying to find out how well they doing. So even if you do move out of town and, and start welding and, you know, change your life, she gonna be continuously looking you up on social media, so you gonna have to change your whole thinking pattern. If you're not trying to be an entrepreneur or an artist, you don't need to be on social media no way. If you just if you feel like you can work a job, you know, weld and shit like that, you know, you can get your own welding company, you know, uh, 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 what is it, concrete company, landscape, whatever the fuck. But you don't have to do it nowhere where this hoe can see. This a fucking peer, because as long as she can, she's going to try to bring someone down to where she's at. She needs someone else to feel the way she feels. She'll eventually find someone else to dig her claws into. Someone else to take her attention because I'm telling you, these are fucking parasites. These are parasites. They're here to do nothing more than de fucking destroy. What is it? Deceive, yeah, deceive, deceive, deceive and destroy. They'll play that girly, girly, I just love to swallow, you know what I'm saying, I just love, you know, whatever the fuck you want to do type, they'll play that shit just so that they can get the child, and I've told you this so many times before, you don't know her until she has the child inside of her. Because all of them know this same shit. Once I'm pregnant by you, I, I got all the cards. The best thing for you to do, here go your child support, don't don't contact me. Put a fucking restraining order on her. Uh, no contact order. And if she ever violate that motherfucker, bam her ass. Because you're not you're not gonna be able to raise that they don't the court going to give you weekends and shit like that. She's going to raise that child. And she's going to turn that child. If it's a boy into a nothing ass nigga. He's going to prison. If it's a girl she's going to be a nothing ass bitch. And she's going to try to drop the child off to you. When the child is 16 and pregnant. Best thing for you. Get the fuck away from that situation. I'm good. You can't raise a child over the fucking weekends. Play If you want to play the game. Play the game. If you want to play the game, play the fucking game. But you're playing by rules that she doesn't play by. The fact that you have morals and integrity. Nigga, your arm's tied. She's face to face telling the child, when you go over there, you better get some money. When you go over there, you may see you look around and see what he got. Try to take pictures when he sleeps. You better hope and wish that if it's a little girl, she don't fucking tell a little girl, um, go over there and then say that he touched you. That's what I'm telling you. It, it ain't no, this ain't no, no game. This ain't no play, play. Do you think this motherfucker gives a fuck about lying on a nigga? And no, where's the fuck? This fucking child to the nigga who sent that to me, the girl that went to Ayana, uh, fixed my life. 52 year, year old woman 
children are 25 years old. She told the fucking little girls when they were young that your fucking father molested you and, and that was it. That's all they needed. Oh, that's it. The whole community know. The whole time he like, nah, it ain't what it is. It take for them to go on fucking Ayana and take a lot of ticket tests to find out she was lying the whole fucking time. Do you think that re-fucking branded or rewired the, the little girl's mind, the 25-year-old girl's mind? They were five years old when the, first, the shit first started, when they first heard the shit. And then from that point on, that's all they knew about their daddy. He, he molested me. He molested me. He molested me. Now you're 25. I love you, daddy. Bullshit. Get the fuck away from the mistake. You cannot win. You play by different rules. If you're not willing to fuck that child mind up too, you need to get the fuck away. Because all it's going to do is fuck you up. The last thing you need to do is get your heart attached to this child that she has full control of. You only get this. She has this child years, years, years. Years. You get weekends. Other weekends. Every other weekend. Come on, my nigga. Best thing to do. Focus on what the fuck you gotta do. Get to a higher level. To where now when you talk to a woman, you can talk to her like, hey, this is what I want. Um, been through this type of situation. Never wanted to be in this type of situation. So... I deal with you, and I was just trying to see where you at mentally. And, oh, I'm, I'm not with that. Man, I'm, from that point forward, sign this. Here go this camera. Uh, I don't do, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll be at a point in your life to where if you don't understand the climate that we're in, if you don't understand me valuing myself, Then I don't need to be with you anyway. I'm not doing fucking porn and shit like that. I'm protecting myself. I can't have sexual encounters without a camera. I just can't do it. And I'm, I'm trying to find a way where we can get something in writing that... Or oh, fuck that writing shit. Take that motherfucker to the doctor every month. To get a fucking shot. If she don't want you taking her to the doctor. Fuck that. All good. If you don't want to be on birth control. All good. Nice to meet you. I'm down the road. You need to get to a point where you can control the situation. That's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to control the situation. That way. You will be able to actually help the person. Instead of her getting power that she doesn't need. And misusing it. What did she say? What did she just say? So she's saying she gonna have the other baby daddy taking care of his child. I got niggas.
Deria. So this bitch was fucking another nigga and uh, you find out the child ain't yours and you stayed there. See, that that's that's why um with that Ari and uh Trey situation, when I told the nigga Trey, man, if you if you if you ain't over that hoe, man, you need to go ahead and get back over there because if you can't take another nigga fucking your bitch then you finna have a hard time. And Katrina said, uh, conversation with me podcast, make sure you go over there. But she was saying, nah, that, 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 don't tell him to do that. And I feel where she come from. She's saying, nah, don't, don't, that's not a good thing to do. But in real life, in real life, niggas, real deal, love work, Love work in, in such it is such a, a weird thing, especially with quote unquote street niggas. Um a lot of, most of the time we don't know that we love a bitch until um they switch up. You know, there's signs that we you know that we definitely care about her, but there's also signs of the latter that we don't give a fuck about her. Um but as far as honestly, let's be for real. Let's 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 go ahead and be for real now. At the end of the day, it's about you. It's about you. If what's gonna make you happy is making sure that she don't fuck nobody else, then that's what it's gonna be. If that's where your mind at, that's where your mind at. But understand that that's that's where you're gonna be at. The issue with that is, nine times out of ten, you're going to grow out of that. You're going to grow out of that shit. So, you might not never want to see it with nobody else, but as far as just playing that position, I'll make sure nobody get over here. You're going to end up killing somebody, and, and it's, it's going to be a, a, a whole melee situation. Um, when it comes to matters of the heart, I, su I just suggest that you don't get into those. I mean, I, I don't know how you tell that to a, I don't know how you tell that to a child, but as a grown man, if a bitch do something to you and you stay, they're pretty much less. Dog, most of the time when I'm dealing with an artist, and he say he got a girlfriend and shit like that. That's pretty much letting me know right then. Yeah, this nigga ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. You can't, nigga. You can't be no fucking rapper, nigga. 
tell nigga this shit. You like you really have to choose when it comes to the entertainment shit. You gonna have to choose, really, with a, a, a with a good career. You know what I'm saying? This police officer, plenty of careers. Well, you know, because a firefighter, you might. Well, even with that, you gonna have to choose. It, it might be a time where you choose to go up in a burning building and not think about your family because you thinking about the job. Um. You either going to have a successful career in entertainment. This is the truth, period. A successful career or a successful relationship. You going to have to choose which one matters to you most. Because this, this entertainment shit, nigga, you going to have to do so much other shit, nigga, that there's no way that she's going to understand. You can't build a relationship on what the entertainment business gives you left over. What you have left over from the entertainment business. Entertainment business takes everything out of you. After that, you don't have anything else to give to nobody. You have to give all of yourself and then 10% more to this entertainment shit. You're not going to have nothing to give to your children, your household, your bitch. You, you know, nigga, you proposing because you don't want her to... That's a lot of you niggas with that shit. You propose to a hoe because you don't want to fuck nobody else like that ring. It's, gonna, it's, a, it's a fucking key inside this bitch to a fucking chalice belt. Chastity belt. If you're not over your girlfriend stage in life, you know what I'm saying, then just get back there and just be cool where you at in life. All that, oh man, I want to do this. I want you don't want to do a motherfucking thing. She's going to fuck somebody else. You're going to have to be over here working on your music. And you're not going to see no results. She's going to get... She's going to be happy before you get happy with where you at. She's going to be in another relationship posting pictures, smiling and shit like that before you posting pictures about you getting a deal or selling any records. And you're going to have to be cool with that. She's going to shine first. But that, that's that's a whole nother story. Um, this is a nothing ass bitch. Um, like I told y'all, I'm pretty sure she's in her mama house. This is a child. I say she's no more than 20 years old with this fucking child that is just cursed to have this type of fucking mother. And don't you know that this nothing ass bitch will be at church on Sunday. Like she's just a, a, a good person. Bitch, I don't give a fuck what a nigga do to you. It should never come down to the point where you playing with a child. I don't give a fuck. I don't, if you want to go cheat on a nigga, and all, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. As far as bringing another life into the world and holding the life hostage and charging a nigga for some shit that he didn't want, you a nothing ass bitch. Period. That's, that's all it is to it. If a nigga did not say that he did, he didn't say, "Hey, I want to have a baby with you." Give a fuck if he busting. Oh, I don't give a fuck how how many times he didn't pull out. If he's not showing you, I want a child with you. I want to make a family. I want to be with you. And you have a child, after, and then after you get pregnant, he say, well, "We need to go ahead and get an abortion." If you still have that child, you're a nothing ass bitch. Period. Unless, unless you let that man be. Shows you, if he didn't tell you he wants to be a father, you get pregnant, he tell you to get an abortion, you don't get it. When you have that child, you better not contact him in the fucking least. If you go and put the court on him, you a nothing ass bitch. You a nothing ass bitch. You're a slimy, nothing ass bitch. And that's why you're never going to be happy. Not with a relationship, not with your career, not with nothing that you do. Because your mind is still on hurting that person. And you brought another life in the world because your hate and control issues. That is a hate baby. And that child is going to cause you so much fucking pain. To the point where you tell a child, I should have aborted you like your daddy told me to. Come on, man. You hoes ain't shit, dog. Man, I, like, dog, listen. 
if you out this motherfucker, I'm telling you, if you out this month, listen to me. Even though I'm telling, that's enough. They don't mind being nothing ass bitches. They don't mind that. So if you going out this bitch, fucking holes raw and busting inside of them, or fucking holes raw and thinking because you pull out this hoe can't get pregnant. Whatever happened, happens. And that's all on your head. That is what that is. This has been a Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. Make sure you go to the Patreon so that you can see the whole series so that you can avoid these nothing-ass bitches. I'll see you all in a minute. Love, love.